Your Eminence, political Cardinal Tengo, Bishop Enrico Dar es Salaam, society in celebration. Your Eminence, Protoss Cardinal Bugambo, Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Tabora. Your Excellency, Kazim Majaliwa, the Prime Minister of the United Republic of Tanzania. Dr. Tulia Axon, Speaker of the National Parliament. Your Grace Gerald Nisonga, President of the Tanzanian Episcopal Conference and the Archbishop of this Archdiocese. Your Lordship Godfrey Mosekaga, Auxiliary Bishop of the Archdiocese of Mbeya. Your Graces and Lordships, Religious Superiors, Reverend Priests, male and female religious and seminarians, distinguished government dignitaries and guests, and dear faithful in Christ, to receive for Jesus Christ. Your graces and lordships, brothers and sisters, Jesus said, the harvest is plentiful, but the works of workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. These are the words which Jesus uttered more than 2,000 years ago, expressing the need of having good shepherds for his flock. The Archbishop of Mbeya is Grace Jervas Nusonga, taking into consideration the vastness of the area and the increase in the number of Catholics, presented a petition to the Holy Father to be given someone who could help him to carry on his work. Consequently, Pope Francis consented to the request and appointed his Lordship Bishop Godfrey Mosekaga as auxiliary bishop as such assigning him the titular see of Tuburbo Minos. Today we are joyfully here Gata, to participate in this important event which is his consecration. Congratulations. In this regard, the Almighty God has done great things for us. So let us thank him for having given to his Lordship Mosekaga the gift of life and the vocation to the priesthood, which today reaches its fullness in the Episcopacy. Your Lordship, as a successor of the Apostles, you are sent out to guide the flock of Christ and ensure the unity among Christians while maintaining the same unity with your Archbishop. You are sent to be a witness to Christ, to speak in his name and preserve all that has been handed down by means of the apostolic body. You will continue to dedicate yourself to prayer, to teaching the word of God, to sanctifying his people through the sacraments, leading them to good pastures. You will always imitate Christ, the Good Shepherd, who is humble, merciful, and loving in your new mission in this Archdiocese. We accompany you with our prayers so that the Gospel of Christ will be fulfilled in your undertakings. However, continue to collaborate with all the priests, religious, and all the faithful especially those marginalized. Your graces and lordships, I am happy to meet you again in such a good number, especially in an event of this high relevance. This is an expression of collegiality and communion that exists within the Episcopal Conference of Tanzania and with the Roman Pontiff. I have no doubt that this unity will grow more and more stronger. I'm glad to recognize and thank the participation of the government dignitaries and distinguished guests who are present here today, starting with our guest of honor, the Honorable Kasim Majaliwa, 
the Prime Minister of the United Republic of Tanzania, and all of you for giving such a high relevance to this solemn event. The Holy See deeply appreciates the strong bonds of friendship and collaboration that exist between the government of Tanzania and the Catholic Church, which is expressed in mutual collaboration and trust. Asante Nisana. Dear priests, religious, and seminarians, let's keep always in mind the treasure of the vocation that God has given us as a gift. All of us must remain faithful to this call from God, especially those of you who are working here in Beya. Maintain the collaboration and trust with your bishops while carrying out your mission, each one according to his or her competence. You are faithful. Your presence here today in such a good number shows the helpful response to the gift given to you by God through the church of having his lordship Mosekaga as a young and vibrant auxiliary bishop, Ongela San. I'm certain that this multitude contains not only fellow Catholics but also members of other Christian denomination or religions as a sign of interreligious dialogue and mutual respect. You are always welcome. Viewing the highlands and plains on Bea, I not only see the richness of nature, but also the tireless effort done by you in the cultivation of different agricultural products, Tongesi. Please continue to work hard in all aspects of life, since it is through labor that not only the fruits of our activity, but also human dignity, brotherhood, and freedom will increase on earth, according Gaudium et Spes number 39 of Vatican II. Furthermore, in the conclusion of the encyclical letter of Pope John Paul II, Labor and Exchanges, we read, let the Christian who listens to the word of the living God, unite in work with prayer, know the place that his work has, not only in earthly progress, but also in the development of the kingdom of God, to which we are all called through the power of the Holy Spirit and through the work of the gospel. Please let us never forget this. Your Lordship, I wish you God's abundant graces and success. Be assured of my prayers and the blessing of our beautiful Francis. May God guide and protect you always. But the joy of this event is magnified also by the celebration of the Jubilee of the evangelization in this region carried out by the missionaries of Africa who for the first time came 125 years ago at Mkulwe from the Diocese of Tanganyika, which is Tabora at the time, to sow a seed of faith which grew strongly, producing many vocations to the priesthood and to the religious life, likewise invigorating the initial evangelizing spirit. We give thanks to God for all the benefits received from these missionaries, starting with education resulted from the schools that were built, health care from hospitals, and above all, the churches to nurture the spirit. The impact of the missionaries is still alive today. May God reward eternal life to the missionaries who spend their lives for the cause of the gospel. And accordingly, I'm honored to read the letter that His Eminence Cardinal Luis Antonio Tagle, Prefect of the Second Section of the Dicastery for Evangelization, wrote on behalf of Pope Francis for this special anniversary. Message to Archbishop Nyesonga on the occasion of the 
155th anniversary of the evangelization in the Archdiocese of Mbeya. It is with great pleasure that I take this opportunity of joining with the Church in Tanzania, with your fellow bishops and with the priests, religious and laity of the Archdiocese of Mbeya, in expressing my congratulations and best wishes at this important milestone of your history. 125 years of evangelization in, the, in that archdiocese, which will be celebrated on the occasion of the Episcopal ordination of His Excellency, the Most Reverend Godfrey Jackson Wasekaga as Auxiliary Bishop of Mbeya. There has been much growth and development in the Catholic community since the first missionaries of Africa set foot on the eastern banks of Momba River in the year 1899 and established the first parish in the area known as Mkunwe. I'm glad that in celebrating this jubilee, you will be joined by other bishops, priests and faithful from other dioceses to thank God for the many graces God has given you throughout these years. All these augurs swell for the strengthening in faith of the faithful of the Archdiocese of Mbeya, who must be the witness and apostles of the good news. So, Your Grace, I extend to you and to all the priests, religious and laity of the Archdiocese, my congratulations and best wishes that this time of celebration be a source of true joy and blessing. In thanking God for all that has been achieved in the service to the people of God, I pray that our Lord, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, protect and inspire you all in the years that lie ahead. From the Dicastery of Evangelization on the Solemnity of Pentecost on the 19th of May 2024. Luis Antonio Cardinal Tagle, Pro Prefect. Mr. Eleza Kwakifupi, Yale Ambayo, Amea Sema, Balonzi Obaba Mtakatifu, Ameanza Kutambua, Uepo, Wapiongozi, Wetu, Wakanisa, Na Serekari, Na Akaanza Kusema, Mavuno Ni Mengi, Lakini Watenda Kazi Ni Watiache, Na Kwa Sababu Hiyo, Mwasha Mwaskofu Mkuu, Gerva Sinyaisonga, aliomba kupewa askofu msaidizi na leo ndio tuko kwenye tukio hilo ambapo askofu tumempata askofu msaidizi Godfrey Mwasekaga na amemkumbusha askofu msaidizi wajibu wake ndani ya kanisa na mbele ya Mungu na amewashukuru maaskofu wote kwa ushiriki wao na vile vile ameshukuru uwepo wa viongozi wetu wa serikali na ushirikiano uliopo mzuri kati ya serikali na taasisi mbalimbali za dini. Amewashukuru vile vile waamini kwa uwepo wenu kwa wingi kabisa siku ya leo na amewashukuru viongozi wa madhehebu mbalimbali ambao wamefika hapa. Na vile vile amefanya nuku kwa nyaraka za baba mtakatifu zinazohusiana na mambo mbalimbali yanayohusiana na maisha yetu ya kanisa na maisha ya kijamii. Ametoa pongezi kwa miaka 125 ya unjilishaji katika jimbo kuu hili la Mbeya kufuatia kazi ya kimisionari iliyofanywa na White Fathers kwa ujenzi wa shule, hospitali na miundo mbinu mingine ya kiroho. Na vile vile aka mwisho akasoma salamu maalum ambazo zimetoka kwa mwazama kardinali Louis Antonio Tagle ambaye ni prefect wa dikasterio ya uinjilishaji wa imani. Tupige makofi kwa ujumbe huo.